Well, Republican Congressman uh, Charles DeJoux of Hawaii joins me now. Congressman, great to have you here. Um, Aloha and good afternoon. Thank you for having me on. Uh, Aloha indeed. So I'm going to ask you for your uh, job creation plan, but before you say, can I guess, is it tax cuts? (laughs) <laughs> I think that's part of it. Uh, it's clear. Our economy needs more private sector jobs, not more public sector programs. The current mentality being uh, pushed by the majority in Congress right now is to spend, spend, and if that doesn't work, spend some more. And if there's any talk about jobs, it's about defending public sector jobs. This current administration and the current majority in Congress is willing to spend the people's money to no end to protect government jobs, but it's done very little for the creation of private sector jobs. All right, now you're blaming them, and I get you, and I, whether we agree or disagree on that, I'm curious as to what the Republican plan is. How would you create I, jobs? Several things I think what we need to do. Yes, tax cuts are certainly part of it. We need to put more money in the pocketbooks and the purses of average Americans. I have far more faith in hundreds of millions of Americans spending a few hundred dollars more than a few hundred bureaucrats spending hundreds of millions of dollars. But I also think part of it also has to be it's time we look at canceling the unspent stimulus money, canceling the unspent TARP money, and use those resources to give it back to the American people. Expanding government clearly has not worked. 18 months, 19 months now into this current uh, administration and current majority in Congress, things have only gotten worse. We've well, lost over... Congressman, let me challenge you on that because I know something that clearly did not work. Uh, record-breaking tax cuts under George W. Bush, which led to an economic disaster and over 8 million jobs lost. So why do you think more tax cuts would be the answer when it seems they created the problem in the first place? few things. Uh, the tax cuts occurred in 2001 and 2003. The 2001 tax cuts did not create an economic recession in 2002-2004. Our economic meltdown began in, in the third, fourth quarter of 2008. And while I, even if I do acknowledge here that the, what the Bush administration had done was wrong and put us in this mess, the current administration and the current majority in Congress most certainly are not getting us out of this mess. And it's time we look at changing direction and changing the priorities that we have here in Washington, D.C. Congressman, D. when you say bigger government, you seem to be, I think, conflating two different issues. Uh, one is regulation and the other is spending. Now, mm-hmm. it, they got, Obama got handed a $1.2 trillion deficit. Now, he's expanded on that to make it about $1.4 or $1.5, but that's actually a much smaller part of the puzzle. But the real problem is regulation. We got into that economic crash because we didn't regulate the banks and they took crazy risks and then we had to bail them out. So when you say bigger government is a problem, do you mean we regulated too much or we spent too much? And would you agree that we should do a little bit more regulation of the banks? Uh, a couple things. Uh, in terms of the financial services industry and financial services reform, I think what had happened back in 2008 was not a lack of regulation, but a lack of enforcement of existing regulations. The answer isn't expanding the size of the government bureaucracy, hiring more government workers, and uh, thickening our regulatory book. It's enforcing existing laws, which clearly did not occur. And I will admit, yes, what the Bush administration, and I also think the previous Republican Congress, has deserves some of the blame. But what's going on now Washington has turned a bad situation and made it much, much worse. But that seems, Congressman, I'm sorry, but that just doesn't seem justifiable because I know you weren't in Congress, but they get, you guys, the Republican Party lost 8 million jobs Mm -hmm. trying your way. I mean, it's the same exact plan as you did before. Why would it be any different now? It's not, uh, let me again, let me respond here, that the tax cuts that occurred in 2001, trying to say that the ca- tax cuts from 2001 triggered an economic recession well, seven okay, years the later. Okay, the tax cuts is, is and the deregulation not. and everything else you tried, it's the same formula you want to try now. Are, I'm afraid we're going to lose eight more million jobs if we tried that, uh, that same would, formula. And I would respectfully submit to you that what cur- the current Congress and the current administration are doing is even worse. Look, since uh, the, the, the Democrats took over back in 2007 and the Obama administration came on in, in January of 2009, things have gotten only worse. Unemployment has gone from 7% to 9.5%. We've lost 2.5 million jobs since the stimulus package was created. That's not progress. That's taking things in the absolute wrong direction. I will say I agree with the president. We need to turn things around and we can start by changing the priorities of this current Congress. I think if you don't agree with the current administration, (laughs) some new ideas from you guys might help. But that's just my opinion. Congressman Charles Dujou, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much here. Take care.